Welcome to M3 Creative Academy's Music Appreciation Course. This video will serve as an introduction to the orchestra and teach some musical vocabulary to describe how loud or soft musicians are playing. Let's start with describing the orchestra. What is an orchestra? An orchestra is a group of musicians playing different instruments and different parts to create music together. Some orchestras are small, made up of 12 to maybe 20 musicians. Other orchestras are really, really large, including over 75 musicians sometimes, even over 100. All orchestras are made up of different instruments. We will explore the different types of instruments used in an orchestra in future videos, but for now we will just enjoy the variety of sounds an orchestra can make. On to our second idea, dynamics. That's how we describe loud and soft in music. Now frequently we use Italian words to describe musical ideas and this is no exception. Today let's learn the Italian words for loud and soft. The word forte means loud. The word piano means soft. We use a, that fancy F to represent forte and we use a fancy P to represent piano. Now you might be thinking Piano, that I, you can't fool me, that's an instrument. In fact, the instrument that we call the piano is an abbreviation for its full name, pianoforte. The instrument was invented so musicians could easily play soft and loud simply by touching the keys differently. If you have permission to play a piano in your home or school, you can try pushing the keys softly to play softly, or push a little harder to play more loudly or forte. Now there's one more word I want to teach you to help us describe the volume in between forte and piano. The word means medium and is pronounced mezzo. When we use this in music, we always attach it to one of the other words describing loud or soft. For example, forte means loud. But if I attach the word mezzo to the front of it, it means mezzo forte and means medium loud. Likewise, if I attach mezzo to piano, it becomes mezzo piano, medium soft. So at this point, you should understand these four dynamics, forte, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, and piano. Today, I want you to listen to a song that really highlights the, difference, the differences between piano and forte. It's called the Surprise Symphony. It's composed by Joseph Haydn. Haydn was a really famous composer in the 1700s and was well known for his entertaining melodies. He also was a famous teacher and had several famous students, including Beethoven at one point. In the part of the Surprise Symphony you're going to hear today, the music stops, starts off very quietly. Like the name says, it's going to surprise you somehow, so be aware. Also, pay attention to the dynamics we talked about. Piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, and forte. I would suggest you try to show which dynamic is being played by sitting when the music is piano and standing when you think the orchestra is playing forte maybe in between for when it's mezzo piano and mezzo forte. You can also show this change by raising your hand high in the air when the orchestra is playing forte and lowering it all the way down when you hear piano. Enjoy this fun symphony.